I hope you like this look. I hope you like this look. I hope you like this look. What up? <laughs> Hey yo B, this is a good look right here. Yeah. How's the honey beauty bees? It's me, Byron Shears, Busy B, your gay bae, and of course I am back with another video here on our channel. Thank you so much for coming back to indulge with me in the hive today. We're gonna make this video kinda quick. I'm just talking in this video. As you guys can see, I have on the same thing. It is the same night in the very same moment from my last tutorial, but don't you even worry about that. In this video, we're just talking. So I like I'm wearing something different. I'm not wearing anything different. It's the same. We've already gotten that out of the way, so hopefully you're over it, okay? If you don't like what I look like, honey, just listen, all right? Today, I just wanted to come and discuss the new umbrella underneath the Anastasia Beverly Hills brand. As you guys know, Anastasia Soiree, she is the owner, CEO, and founder and creator of Anastasia Beverly Hills. She also has a daughter by the name of Claudia, and we all know her as Norvina, and Norvina now has her own line underneath Anastasia Beverly Hills. So you have mother, ABH, and then you have daughter, Norvina. Norvina has come out with three different palettes and I do have them all. I have yet to use either of these palettes. Please, let's not even talk about it. Let's not even get into it or get involved in why I have not used these eyeshadow palettes as of yet. Just know that I have not used them and I am itching, literally itching and dying to use these palettes. But that's where you guys come in because I'm slightly confused. They're all so pretty and I honestly don't know which one to use first. So let's talk about the first Norvina palette. This was the first installment of the Norvina palette and I just think this is so Super, super pretty. I really love the color story. I love the purples that are in this. Purple is actually my favorite color. I absolutely love purple. I don't wear purple all the time. I'm not, um, like I just don't put it everywhere like I once did. Once in my life, everything was purple. Like the first thing I ran to, it was always purple. Now, it is truly still like my favorite 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 color but I just don't wear it as much or it's not shown as much in my life but nonetheless I love this eyeshadow palette I think it's absolutely stunning and I love the fact how she kind of like named the rows A B A B C D and E and then one through five all the way across each palette is like that and I really really like that okay so that way I don't have to try to figure out a name or remember a name I can just say C3 or D4 or you know A5 and it really works out that way I really like that so that's the first installment it's the purples and of course it's so fitting because purple is like her favorite color she says it's her soul color and if you guys remember the Norvina palette the original Norvina palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills that was also purple and like in a family of purples so with the first eyeshadow palette from the Norvina brand being purple I just felt like it was very very fitting the second palette that she came out with is the Norvina ADH Volume 2. And this one is more so blues and greens, which is really, really pretty. I think it's about time to use this palette. From my understanding, this palette was supposed to launch last year during festival season. Unfortunately, we didn't get this palette, I think, until like the summertime, maybe like early fall, I can't remember. Um, but it was way past festival season. It was way past the time she actually said that this palette was supposed to launch. So, with that time of the year coming up, I don't know, maybe this could be the first one. I really love, 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 love this color story. It's really, really hard to find a palette that's packed with pigment, 
blendability, blues, and greens. That's like really, really hard. That's not like the easiest palette to find. A lot of palettes, they might have a pop of blue or a pop of green. Typically when people think about blues or greens, they always end up being pops of color in a palette and not necessarily the basis of the full palette. And with this, the blues and the greens were clearly the basis of this palette. That was like the first thing that went into this palette. Everything else are kind of like fillers to play around and play off of the blue and green in this palette, which is cool too, but I don't know. I think this palette is the prettiest. So when I received these, I received these two pretty much together. Like this one came out and then the following week, this one came out, if I'm not mistaken. It was something really, really quickly, and we'll get back to that in just a minute. Now, the last and final installment of the large, well, this thus far, okay? The Volume 3 is the newest installment for the Novena palettes, and this one by far is my favorite. This one by far is my favorite. No doubt, like all these colors scream and bark at me. Y'all already know this is like giving me, whoo! This is giving me vibes right here. Like I'm loving this one. These colors are super, super pretty. I love, 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 love this palette. And I haven't even used this palette yet, so I'm not sure about the pigmentation, but I already know what time it is. Y'all know Norvina does not play, okay? When it comes down to pigment, colors, color stories, she's like huge on that. She's really big on that. I met her in person. She is absolutely stunning. Stunning! in person okay this thing really really looks like herself like how you see her in pictures is literally how she looks in person Stunning. so with that being said oh and her eyeshadow forget about it let's not even talk about how on point her eyeshadow is so as it pertains to these three palettes I must say that the orange one is my favorite, and then the blue greens. Um, I don't know, they run neck and neck with the purple. So I'm kind of not sure which one of these palettes I should use first. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. Um, comment down below which ones you actually want to see me use first. Let me know if you guys want a series out of these palettes. I know that she's going to release another one this year. She said the color of this year is pink. Pink is the color of the year. So hopefully we'll get another one. Perhaps it'll be packed with a bunch of pinks or mobs or something pinky tone. Maybe some salmons. I don't know. I'm excited about it. As of now, I think I do want to create possibly like a series here on my channel. So let me know if you guys want to see a series using the Norvina palettes. And now I'm going to go over to the mini. So the first two minis that she launched are these pretty little babies right here. So I haven't had a chance to use this one just yet, which is like the orangey looking one. I don't know. It's like desert looking one. It has some greens. It has a pop of pink. It has two oranges in it. This one is really, really, really pretty. I really like the packaging on these. I love the plastic packaging. I love the fact that um, these give me collectible tees. Like, they're something I definitely want to collect. I don't see myself throwing these away. I don't see myself trying to take the eyeshadows out of their packaging. Um, the packaging feels top notch. This one is packed with pinks and purples, which is also really, really pretty and fun. I used this one on my mom not too long ago. Um, I haven't really had a chance to edit that video. Perhaps by the time this one goes up, you'll see the video on this one. I only used a few of the colors from out of here, and I used the pink as like a pop of pink in my mom's inner tear dork. Like, inner tear dork? What? Anyways, I used the pop of pink in my mom's inner tear duct, and it was very, very, very pretty. So I really like this palette. I just want to do complete looks with these. I'm not really sure, like, how I want to incorporate these into my channel. But again, if you guys want to see, I don't know, perhaps maybe, like, a series, a color series, 
uh, using the Norvina palettes, just let me know because they pack a punch. Like everything in her palettes scream color. They scream vibrant. They scream spring, summer, festival, fun, young, free. And I love it. I'm here for it. So the last and final installment was the Norvina Cherry. I guess it's called Cherry. I don't know. Maybe it was the Mini 3. I think it's just the Mini 3. It's cherry themed, but it's super pretty. You can't really see it because the colors are washing out, but it's really, really pretty. I love this color story. I really like the powder blue that's in the middle. It's not really showing up. It's playing off as white on camera, probably because it has a lot of white in the shadow. It's like a pastel, like the perfect pastel blue. Oh, so pretty. I can't wait to do something with that one. Um, as far as these other colors, the glitters, this glitter right below the blue is so intriguing. I really cannot even explain to you what this is. I see mauves and greens and blues and purples and iridescents. And I don't know. It just looks absolutely fabulous. And I can't wait to use it. If you made it this far into the video, you are definitely a beauty bee. I appreciate you so much. I just wanted to come and ramble to you guys. I'm not sure if this video is going to go up before this look or this video is going to go up after this look. Either way, if it goes up before, make sure you keep an eye out on this look. If it goes up after, you can hit the icon right here or wherever the icon is in the screen. You can hit the icon and that will take you to this look. If you guys want a video series using these eyeshadow palettes, if you guys have these eyeshadow palettes, comment down below. Let me know which one you already have. Let me know if there's one that you would like to pick up. Also, let me know if there's one that you want me to use. First, if you guys want a series, like I said, make sure you sound off below in the comments. And again, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for coming back. I'm not going to talk a whole, whole lot more and ramble in this video i just wanted to express my love to you guys and i will see you shortly hopefully i'll be back in front of your face on the screen near you very very shortly but until then as i always say and i always will say love and light but most of all be beautiful <laughs> later